everybody, uh, another Sunday here. Um, as many of you who follow the channel will have seen, we uploaded Charlotte's video last Friday. It's quite a difficult one to watch, but a very necessary one that I wanted to view, and I've had some positive feedback from that, so I thank you for that. Today would have been uh, Charlotte's funeral. That was a year ago today. It hardly seems possible, but um, you know, we've been without her for a year now and uh, it doesn't get any easier at all. Not one bit does it get easier. And uh, obviously it was the anniversary of her passing on the 24th of February. And that was uh, an incredibly emotional day. I think that I understand why people sometimes say the second year is worse because in the first year I could kind of look back to the previous year and see what we were doing. And now when I look back to this time last year, she'd already gone, so there's kind of nothing to compare it to, so it makes it quite difficult. Um, I'd like to say thank you to somebody who donated a thousand pounds to the charity. That means an awful lot to us, thank you so much. And um, we've had an, I had a nice check during the week again from an anonymous donation, 50 pounds, so it all makes a difference. Um, I'm sorry we couldn't do our announcement in February. There's actually a lot more planning to do than we anticipated and Cressy's working very, very hard on that at the moment. So we're hoping there will be definitely a date. In It will be in April, definitely towards the end of April. I forgot to check with Cressy whether it was okay to actually say the date on film this morning, but um, I will obviously say what it is next week. Um, Going back to February 2016, um, I'll just cover four days because I remember them so well. The 1st of February, Azilla Charlotte Ward, she wanted to go for a meal to East Dean and we had to go to somewhere where there was wheelchair access. She was very, very poorly. And we drove over there and I remember she had steak and chips and she wasn't supposed to have too much fat because she was on special medication to try and bring her weight down, which wasn't going to happen because, looking back on it, it just wasn't going to because the tumour had already taken over the hypothalamus gland, so it wasn't going to work. And I remember she sort of tucked into that when my sight was going, it wasn't, um, it wasn't a brilliant day. And then when we left, she suddenly realised she'd left her handbag behind her new Louis Vuitton, but fortunately Miles ran back to get it. And then as normal, we, by the time we got back home, it was quite a performance with the ramps and the wheelchair, and um, the communication wasn't uh, at all good at this point. On the Tuesday, we'd got physiotherapy coming round to try and get her to move a bit. I think at this point, we still hadn't grasped the enormity of what was going on with this tumour, and we were hoping that the physiotherapy would actually help. I'd fed her at lunchtime, in about half past two in the afternoon. Of course, I had to feed her then as well. She couldn't feed herself. I remember she had a jacket potato and baked beans, and the physiotherapist came round and managed to get her out of her chair and they put her on one of those huge gym balls. And as they did, she had a, like a mini seizure. It was quite frightening and our eyes rolled back and we didn't know what was going on. And so we phoned the master and they said no, no, they didn't think it was a seizure, that it was something to do with the vagus nerve, which connects, I think I'll have to, it's a nerve that extends from the brain to the stem to the abdomen, so it had obviously I wasn't particularly enjoying having just been fed and then being rolled over on the ball and that's made her convulse or whatever. Um, on the Wednesday we were due to go to the Marsden and uh, in the morning I gave her a normal medication and bear in mind she could hardly move so she's propped up in bed and it was a real effort to get that medication down her swallowing wasn't great. So you've got 35 tablets in a day, you've got to get down somebody who couldn't vaguely swallow. Every time you gave her a bit of water, she got choked. And gave her tablets and within five minutes she 
was sick absolutely everywhere, all over the bed, all over herself, so we had to, it was quite difficult to clear all of it up and get her washed and the baths were becoming a real problem and baths was the one thing which Charlotte always loved was her baths but there was no longer to be, we had all the machines and everything to help her in. By the time it got to the 4th of February, she did her very last YouTube. I had to do the voiceover because she now could no longer communicate at all. And in fact all she could do was dribble of her mouth. And the wine which she had always loved so much we had to put this mixture in it to make it really gloopy and thick and even with that she couldn't even enjoy that so Lajo Bostoma took every single bit of her away bit by bit, slowly it was heartbreaking to watch the images in my head I still have. They're very, very hard to push to one side. So people say to me, you have your memories at the moment, because it's only down the line my memories. More of how ill she was, and how I had to witness her decline. Next week I'll uh, carry on from the 5th. And the 5th of February was the turning point where that would have been, well, in fact, the 4th of February was her very last night at home. And the 5th of February, she went into hospital. Anyway, I'll pick up next week and continue her journey. Um, thank you so much for all the people on Charlotte's Legacy Facebook page for sharing the statuses. It's the only way that I can try and get video uh, her video out there, and I really would like her video, if you can share it as many times as possible for her, for Charlotte. Um, she would never have known that that video was going to be uploaded and she'd probably be horrified if she knew I hadn't done it, but I did it with the best intention. Anyway, thank you once again and uh, I'll catch up next week. Thank you. Bye.